Hey Diego, congrats on the win. Uh, well done on both your goals. Um, I guess being a younger player in MLS, still kind of trying to find your way in the league, how do you remain in a good pet space and stay humble on a week to week basis? I think it's something where that's just who I am. I think it's where I've I've grown up and how I've grown up. And I think it's just me, you know, trying to, to play soccer and, you know, I do it for fun and I do it for the enjoyment and what it brings to, to my mental health and everything. So I think that's something that, that just keeps me stable. And I think that's what, what is uh, keeping me humble and keeping me, you know, I just want to get out there and play. So I think that's what it is. And then, and then from a team standpoint, um, I believe you all are in – third place in the West as far as, you know, standing super center right now. You know, St. Louis is, you know, only four points out. You're on level on points with LA, you know, even though those two teams have players one for your match. I mean, how do you stay focused with the top of the standings being so close? I don't think that's something that, that we worry about in the locker room and, and, or, or in the you know the coaching staff, I think it's just us doing our thing on a daily basis and and keeping that same mindset where we go into each game as the underdogs and keeping that mentality. So I don't think we pay attention really much to the to the stuff and and we we keep that in our DNA. And then when we get the ball, we we let our quality show. And um you know it's working right now, and we're going to continue to do that. All righty, we'll get to you. Thanks. Diego, can you take us through both goals and tell us what you <laughs> saw as the plays developed? Yeah, I think the first goal was a, a quick goal, right? So I think the ball went out to Sava, and I know he loves whipping the ball in like that. And, and everybody ran first post, and I was able to beat my defender you know, to the ball and, and sneak in there and, and make good contact and put that in the bottom corner, so it was good. And then the second goal was just following up Danny's, you know, Danny's play, and the ball popped up. They got it, and then I saw Danny there with a the 1-2. And then I, just, uh, I had a lot of time in my head to, to finish, so I just picked out a spot and just slipped it in. You look different since you came back from the U-20s. Do you feel different out there on the field? And if so, how and why? I think it has to do a lot with the, the mental side of the game. I think it was a lot of you know, confidence and a lot of stuff going through my head that, that was clogging me up and stuff. But I think coming back, I, I felt more free and more, and more enjoyable while playing. And I think that was something that, that is what um, what shows myself is when I'm free and I'm having fun playing and it shows who I really am. So I think that was something when I came back, I, I felt free and, and open to the game and to, to relaxed and able to play. What was going through your head and clogging you up? I think there was a lot of things, you know, I, I was away every month for 10 days with the national team. There could have been personal stuff. It, it's a whole bunch of things. It could have been uh, playing time. There's all these things, uh, me being young, away from family, a whole bunch of things that, that, that you know, clog up a, a young kid's brain and I like to think that I'm mature but it always gets to people and and I think that's something that that everybody will face in their life but um it was my time at that moment and I think I'm, I'm glad to overcome it and stay strong but yeah it was just a, a lot of things how much is Chicho's presence opening space on the field for everybody else I think it, it shows a lot right you ha when you have a nine that has a, a big name and, and knows what they what he can do it, it distracts defenders, which opens up space for, for Sava and me on the wing in, in a game like this I'm, I'm talking about. So it shows that, and then it shows if you know teams try to, to clog one side, we, we can find the other side. Teams, teams try to clog the, both sides, we can find down the middle. So I think it just gives us a lot of options around the field, and, it, and it, it's good to play with them combined, and just having a, a Chicho out there is a great guy, so it's also good to have him in the locker room. Team only had two home wins all year in MLS play, and now you've gotten two in eight days. Is you were talking about your personal mindset changing? <clears throat> is the team's mindset changing a little bit? I think yeah, it was just finding our DNA. I think it's it's all been there, but I think it was just us, you know, from the very beginning, uh, practicing on who we wanted to become. And I think we're we're getting on the right path, and, and I think we're just going to keep building that and making it stronger because I don't think we're we're close to where we can be. Um, as far as your, your position on the field goes, you know, you've, you've, you, I know you said originally you, pr you prefer to kind of play in the 10. You've moved a little bit out to the wing. Um, how, how are you feeling right now, I guess, about kind of what the coaches are asking of you and then how you feel personally within your position on the field? Yeah, I, I feel good. I feel good. I'm, I'm happy and I'm, I'm glad to be out there on the field and contribute to the team. I think, um, yeah, I, I still feel, I think, more comfortable <coughs> playing as the 10, and that's my, my natural position. 
but that's where you have to adapt and that's where you have to grow as a player. And I've been asked to play on the left wing and, and I'm starting to enjoy every game more and learn about the position. And also when I'm asked to play back into the 10, it also gives me a, a bigger idea of, of you know, the, the, the spots of wingers and where they're supposed to be. And so it, it's helping me grow as a, as a player in general. So I'm happy about it and I'm happy to play left wing. It gives me some time to get isolated and, and do things on the, on the wing and that I can't do as a 10, so it's, it's good. And then lastly, kind of on a similar note, I'm curious what kind of feedback you've gotten from the coaches um, as you've kind of gotten a little more comfortable uh, back from the national team and spent a lot more time here at RSL. What have the coaches kind of told you and kind of maybe praised you as you've gotten more minutes here uh, on the first team? I think it was simple. I think it's just them uh, wanting me to do the best that I can for my individual development. And I think they're, they're putting me in the right place to succeed and they want me to do good. And of course, me doing good will help the team. So I think it's, it's very simple and w they want me to get the best out of me and it's, it's working and they've been very helpful and not uh, over pushing and not you know, leaving me aside. So it's been a good uh, communication between, between us. Diego, congratulations. In your career, this is the best moment do you feel this is one of the best moments with two scoring in a game? Yeah, I think it's it's up there, right? I think um, especially scoring my first goal at home and, and getting two of those to, to help the team win, it was a pretty exciting thing. So I think it's definitely up there with in the top three. As a young player, you are still in contact with your family, probably your father. You told me the other day all your family play soccer yeah. and they are expecting something from you. When you score, you got a, a call from your dad, from your brothers. Uh, do you expect any, any call now today? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I haven't been to my phone, but we'll see what, what they have. But um, it's going to be good to get on the phone with my parents and just you know, see how excited they are and stuff. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Anything in Spanish? Awesome. Thank you, Diego. Yeah, thanks, guys.